All right, guys, welcome back to some more High on Life. So we're just going to start off right with the last of off. I just wanted to thank you guys so much for all the support that you guys have been putting on this series so far. You guys are absolutely killing it. Keep doing what you're doing. Pump us out until we eventually beat the game. But uh, yeah, anyways, without further ado, let's get right back into this shit. I just want to pop in and say, if you guys are enjoying the content and you seem to be coming back on the regular, be sure to subscribe to the channel. It'd be really awesome if you did. It costs nothing, and if you guys don't like it, you can change your minds later. Just letting you guys know, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell and all that stuff. And also, if you really like the content, be sure to hit that like button. That'll also help out the channel a lot. And uh, I don't really do that often, so I just wanted to thank you guys. All right, that, that, that's gotta be the high on life store. Gotta be it. It's got the longest line. It's gotta be it. Are they using voice lines or is it that one kid? Hey, don't worry. Detectives can always cut lines. The rules do not apply to the law. Okay. I'm addicted to drugs. Later. Thank God they opened this new high on your local Hyperbong Superstore. Please, no traveling of other patrons during the midnight launch. Okay. Well, well, well. I smell another mystery. I'm Pseudo, by the way. You know me. Uh, yeah, we're, we're still tracking down giblets. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say. Try interrogating all the employees here. Yeah, no shit. That's what, that's what the fuck we're gonna do. Okay. Hello, and welcome to High on Life. How can High on Life help you today? This is so weird. Okay. What do you sell here? Great question. Thanks so much for your interest. We sell hyperbongs and hyperbong accessories. The latest model, the Hyperbong 6, is even capable of smoking humans. That's right. That hot new species you've been hearing about. High on Life hyperbongs are the only way to get that fixed. So it's a weed store that sells bongs, but it's human bongs. It's not weed bongs. Okay. High on Life employees are not authorized to admit that we have ties to the criminal organization known as the G3, but can I offer you membership in our High on Life care program? All right. Is this illegal? Illegal? No, 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 not, not in any real sense. You must be reading some of our detractors on the internet or watching too many Claude Nugman speeches. Hyperbongs are totally humane and of no harm to anybody except the creatures you smoke in them. Right. Why do you build a store in the slums? We actually prefer not to call it the slums. This is an exciting new up and coming part of town that we hope will attract a youthful new demographic ready to spend their hard earned money on quality products. Speaking of which, can I interest you in a Hyperbong 6? Woo, these are some tough nuts to crack. Don't lose motivation, you're doing great. But you do get a D ranking because that one sucked. Thanks, all right. Anyways, can I? You're just the greeter, you don't know nothing. Okay. Okay, there's a employee right here. It is my pleasure to welcome you to High on Life. Are you being helped already? Uh. I'm, a, I'm gonna ask the same questions just to see if any of them will crack under pressure. Let's see. I'm so sorry. That is a really fantastic question, but I'm not authorized to answer it. Have you considered buying a drop proof case for your hyperbong? So, yes. Okay. Uh. Did Torgs approve this store's construction? High on Life employees politely request that you don't alert the other customers to the fact that we are part owned by the Torg family. That worries the other customers, and we don't want that. Ah, uh, okay. What's a hyperbong? Oh, I'm so excited you asked. A hyperbong is a device used to absorb the life energy of another species in order to trigger a psychedelic effect in the operator. Do you know about Dr. Giblets? We're finally gonna get to that answer. You know, I can't recall whether the question. I've heard that name before. But I'm actually much more interested in telling you all about the fabulous features that come packed in with the brand new Hyperbong 6. Ooh, boy, they really want to make that commission, huh? Sorry, but I gotta give you another D rank. Alright, third employee. Uh oh, uh, hello, hello, and welcome to High on Life. 
I'm Barrick. Uh, I can be a personal uh, high on life uh, prof professional today. Um, do, that makes sense, right? That, does that sound okay? I'm I'm new here. Awesome. Okay, we got him. We got him. He's gonna crack. Have you used a hyper bomb? Oh no, no, no. I'm uh, I'm straight edge. I don't even like thinking about drugs. This job was a uh, oh, it was a bad idea for me, probably. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, does this store have ties to the G3 cartel? God, I'd really love to help you because you look very cool. But no, sorry, I, I, I have no clue. Oh, okay, okay. How do you like working here? Oh, no, it's okay, I guess. Uh, it's the big Hyperbond 6 midnight launch, and we literally just opened. So, uh, i only been here for like half an hour. And honestly, okay, yeah, it kind of sucks so far because, like, I can already feel my soul leaving my body. Uh, do you know who Dr. Giblets is? Hey, hey, it's my first day. Uh, can you do me a favor and not mention Dr. Giblets around here? They told us not to talk about him. Wow, nice kid, but not helpful at all. You get a big fat D ranking. Damn it! Damn it! I was really hoping I'd get him with that one. Okay, one more. This guy looks like a manager of some sorts. Holy shit, this is a madhouse. Oh, 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 sorry. Hi, thanks for shopping at High on Life. I'm the manager here. Are, are you finding everything okay? Dude, I can spot a manager from a mile away, apparently. Okay. Do you like hyperbombs? Huh? Nah. I think they're probably bad for society overall, you know? I mean, uh, I don't have a problem with drugs in general, but hyperbongs are like, the drugs are living creatures and they die, and that seems a little fucked up, right? But hey, I'm the manager at the store that sells hyperbongs. I probably shouldn't be saying stuff like that. It's hypocritical, it's weird. I don't know, I'm just here. I'm just here. Okay. So you're the manager here? That's right. It's a big day. I didn't think there'd be this many people lining up to buy hyper bongs. Probably a bad sign for our city. Where can I find Dr. Giblets? Oh man, this again. Look, man, I just work here. I don't know anything about the store or who built it. Or I'm, I'm kind of a fuck up. I lied on my resume. I got this manager gig. I never even met Dr. Giblets. I, I don't know what he looks like. I couldn't even point him out in a crowd. But, but you know about him. Yeah, yeah, sure I do. He owns this place. He never comes around, though. I don't really know where he is. Tell us where Dr. Giblets is. What? I told you. I have no idea where he is. And you're being really aggressive. Leave me alone. It's super fucking busy right now, and you're distracting the hell out of me. Okay, shit. Not, not so good. It looks like we've uh, hit, a, hit a dead end. So let's get the fuck out of here and just give up on being detectives. It's all done now. A Z rank? What is a Z rank? Okay, whatever. I guess it's like beyond shit. <laughs> what? Nice day for a shopping trip, ain't it? It sure is. I know I'd go shopping on a day like this. Except this wannabe bounty hunter doesn't seem to be shopping. That's right. Seems like they're poking their beak where I don't belong. Be a shame if something happened to your beak as a result if you catch our drift. More of this shit? Are you fucking kidding me? More? More of this? Why is everybody on our case today? Please, just fuck off. You got a fresh mouth on you, kid. Be a shame if something happened to that mouth as a result. Out of my associate here, yeah? he's only got one good bet, but I assure you, he can back it up. That's right. A word to the wise. Stay out of this. Got it? We've got this covered. What the hell was that? Okay. Oh boy. Get the fuck out of the way. Okay, there we go. Holy shit. What the fuck? Was this guy trampled to death? Uh, yeah. My friend Davy Glutes got trampled in the rush. Pretty sad, right? One moment he was there, next he's gone. Squashed. Huh. That guy got fucked up. Okay. Listen, I hate to suggest this, but I think we might need to, you know, borrow that dead guy's mag boots, you know, to, just to climb out of here. Oh my god! I'm taking his boots. <laughs> we took his mag boots! A lot of people think mag boots in short for magnetic boots. Uh. Uh. Because they have magnets on their soles, and you can use them to walk on magnetic surfaces. Well. Those people are right. That's exactly what it stands for. No twist here. Congratulations to those 
smart people who knew what it was short for. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. You can totally take those mag boots. Okay, look, I know this is a little fucked, but these boots are going to be very useful, and, and they're the only way out of here, well, you know? Yep, all right. Hey, sick moon. You're making good use of those mag boots. You're using those things way better than Davy Glutes ever did. Look at you! <laughs> I am better than him. I'm better than his trampled guy. Let's go. Oh shit. Yeah, fuck drones. Yeah. All right. Fuck drones. Son of a bitch. That was terrible, Kenny. That was absolutely terrible. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. Fuck off. Nope. <laughs> Fuck off! Fuck, I got some on me. There we go. Oh, I did the wrong thing. Oh no. Uh, the serves message from the committee to elect Klug Nugman, the election. Uh, every little bit helps donate. Yeah, well, I don't fucking care. I don't care. Boom. Hit the spot. Uh, nobody's gonna miss you. Okay. Who's shooting? Oh, there he is. The fuck did he go? I hope for a simulation cuz you're going to die. Why do you keep running? There we go. Oh no! God damn it, fucking burns! No, damn it! I realized I didn't have enough fuel. And I go that way. I haven't been here in a while. Literally since part one. <laughs> okay. Oh, we gotta go this way. And now that- Where are we going? Okay, now we go over here. What? Why was it telling me to go that way then? That's telling me to go up there. I'm going this way. I'm going this way. Uh, actually, what is up here? Oh, nothing. Okay, I know where home is. I'm just gonna go there. <laughs> I'm just gonna go there because these fucking things suck. Oh! Probably right here. And then right here. And then we're right back here. What the fuck? Okay, it was leading me to that. Are you kidding me? That is so fucking stupid. <laughs> oh.
Okay. What are those guys doing here? You guys again. We've been observing. Hope that don't rustle your jimmies none. Because newsflash buckos, we're on your side. We'd like to formally apologize for how we treated you earlier. We didn't realize who we were dealing with. You'll have to forgive us. And we're sorry we still sound like we're intimidating you. It's the only way we know how to talk. Our wives hate us. Huh. Yeah, so who are you two? We represent Magistrate Clug Nugman. Maybe you've heard of him. He's certainly heard of you. Why does that one guy on the left sound like certified hood classic? <laughs> you sound like that guy. <laughs> Anyways. No shit, he's been helping us. Here's the skinny slim. The Torg family, or what's left of it anyway. They got mixed up with a bad crowd. The G3 cartel. Or more specifically... Dr. John Giblet's PhD. And Clug wants it squashed, pronto. He says you're the right bounty hunter for the job. Says you're already helping him. Says the G3 is our common enemy. We've got a lead on Dr. Giblet's. He's been whooping all over, leaving behind a nice little warp trail for us. We're thinking you can follow those breadcrumbs all the way to the gingerbread house. That way Clug don't have to get his cute little hands dirty. You dig? Okay. You want us to kill him? We were already planning to kill him. This kid's fast. Yeah, check out Dale Earnhardt Jr. over here. Let's say somebody dies. Maybe, hypothetically, their name is Dr. Giblets. Well, should anything like that happen, we had nothing to do with it. We didn't even mention it. This conversation never happened. And Clug will be very grateful. Speaking of which, why don't you follow us? Clug wants to speak in person. Huh, all right, let's let's go talk to Clug. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> oh, welcome back. Thank you so much for all your help. Yeah, they've been aces. Yeah, real pros. Hey, Clug. Sorry about those two. They can be a bit intense. Really, I don't know why they talk like that. But look, you've seriously done so much for me. I hate to ask for anything else, but this election is really close. And, well, keeping the G3 out of Blim, it's really going to help me lock this in. Do you think you could, you know, deal with Dr. Giblets? Well, yeah, no, I mean, we that's what we want to do, you know? But uh, it's just the trail went dead. A dead end? Oh, no, we can't have that. Let me just leave this map data right here on my desk. Not sure what... Might be on it. Oh, that's how we get to Dr. Giblets? Whoa, whoa, even if this map data did take you to Dr. Giblets, we're not 100% sure it would be his actual base. You'll still need to do some detective work. Fuck yeah. All right, then we just kick the door down, burst our way in there, find him, grab him by the neck. Hey, 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 I can't officially tell you to do that. Not if I want to win this next election, at least. <laughs> Good luck out there, bounty hunter. Uh, we will do our best. All right, I find get it. That fucking Dr. Giblets piece of shit. Okay. Kenny, I feel like you swear just so... Just to swear. <laughs> you didn't have to add the piece of shit part at the end. Magistrate Clug came through. He pointed us right to Dr. Giblets. Okay, there we go. It's great. I kind of regret not voting. Okay. I love how when I load into somewhere, it just doesn't fully load all of it. Anyways. Uh, so yeah. I think I'm gonna end this here. Alright guys, I am gonna leave this part here. I just wanna pop in and say thank you guys so much for all the support on this series so far. You guys are absolutely killing it. Uh, just wanted to thank you guys for that. Uh, you guys are awesome. Best community out there. I love you guys. But yeah, anyways, in the meantime, drop a like, leave a comment, and welcome to the revolution.